Hey guys, it's Burgos here and in this video I will talk about how to do hard stages easy. First of all, you have to know the, the hard stage. Now, if we go to the chapter 1, basically normally the hard stages are the last one. You have to know the order of the mobs actually coming. Um, you have to check first of all what kind of mobs are presented in this stage uh, for example here we have baron you can see hp defense also check the monster skill what kind of more skill, um, monster skill they have what kind of uh, other skills they actually do this is absolutely important if you struggle with uh, the, the stage also check the little one that also uh, come and of course see the, the the order that this um, monsters is actually coming i'll do maybe quick auto attack here this is of course first stage but this actually apply for everything as you can see the, here is the bottleneck so we have to have our defender here one mage here and here is sitting the boss now if you have a archer you can easily put him on the voltus place and if he have the range normally the archers have big range you can actually kill the boss before the boss even actually come this is one of the things what the what is this hand <laughs> um this is one of the things that you actually can do the next thing about the hard stages is depending how many mobs you actually have let's pick uh some other hard stage of course first one is the most easy but let's go in the chapter five example here we click the stage we see the stage it's pretty strange that uh, i mean there's other places where the monsters can go there's some towers that do some extra damage and you can easily see it. this is basically a healer you can easily see what kind of spells and melee and defense those um, mobs have but the important thing is the order of the of the enemy is coming and if you have a slow hero now currently in this stage we don't need a slow hero but definitely if you have slow hero it will help a lot if there is a two separate corridors where the mobs is uh, coming if you have a slow hero i'll show of course one slow hero of course first you have to put something that to actually uh, stop the the bugs i mean the incoming enemies and here comes the Healer now you you can't actually catch him catch this one with uh, with the archers so yeah as you can see behind this multiple target uh, Mao we have a healer that will cover everybody here we have a healer here that actually take care of my soul hero and yeah so far this is for example the this hard stage of course you have to know where you have to you make strong damage strong damage is always welcome so you focus on more this type of heroes that is actually doing strong damage i think archers is doing strong damage here or maybe mages i think archers should do strong damage i have to check the enemies but definitely in this example no no nobody do strong damage <laughs> Uh, but some books actually uh, archers are anti-air so yeah it's, it's way more easy uh, maybe some other strong uh, strong stage I'll actually present this will be maybe from the right if we go in the right uh, maybe gear right for me gear right is one of the important rights um, so we're going to go in this one maybe stage 9 because this is the last stage I actually did here you need archers and basically the game suggests you archers but use archers at the places you can actually catch the boss before he actually move so I'll make auto attack to actually explain what I mean if you have um, a boss that is just sitting it's really important to try to catch him with the archers till all these things actually come to you if you catch the boss it will be absolutely great as you can see the archers have huge huge range and here comes the boss is coming he's sitting here but only the archers can actually catch him as you can see and since i actually have this one that boosts this uh, archer 
range as you can see the range is absolutely huge so archers are the best um, heroes for the stages where there is a big boss that you cannot handle when he is coming but the moment he is just sitting there is best um, moment to actually use try to somehow catch him with the archer this is for me the best way as you can see there is no more boss we are waiting this thing to cock down to finish up and we are going to just destroy them so this is for the archers and the range and the boss Ooh, two legendary items anyway this is the way i actually do it with the archers of course the mages are the the heroes that is going to care for example this gear right three i'll go to gear right one where there is a lot of enemies you have to know that you have to use mages mages is just even the game by herself actually suggests you hey use uh, mages so keep one eye what the game actually suggests to you so here we don't need ground units we don't need that much archers i have archers that have our damage but here you just need mages and of course swow is playing huge role in uh, everything just because uh, if you stack a lot of enemies on one place it will be way 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 more harder for you to actually um, kill everybody just sitting here they will just destroy this gate uh, but with, with little slow you can basically slow down a couple of these units and actually kill them one by one before they actually destroy your your gate so this is the way uh, basically right one is totally totally for mages uh this is the best place you can use mages of course archers is welcome it also but for all these guys here <laughs> definitely need something that is using our damage you can even put here uh you can put what was the name uh fighters that do our damage i think it's also a nice one so yeah this is so far for this hard stage is uh, specific rights is going to need uh, specific heroes but the game really nice suggest uh, what to use there now for the campaigning again here is mostly the ordering uh, currently I'm struggle with this one trying to finish this one but the other one is I just know the order how the enemy is coming so I can place my swall heroes and for example my swall heroes is Delwyn is actually one of my swall heroes he actually plays uh, hunt and watch sabre <laughs> are triggered when casting hamstring inflict swall on the surrounding enemies it's really important also this one is also doing a swall attack triggered circle inflict swall upon the target for the extent duration uh, meanwhile targets infected will soul by mary will receive vulnerability basically getting 50% uh, more uh, more physical damage again soul is really important for all kind of stages so if you have a soul heroes it will help by a lot and especially mary have something really interesting and this is her range she is basically hitting behind her and in front of her so this make her in really great position if you want to place her in the just one line where you can place your heroes absolutely absolutely great hero so yeah this is the way i think the heart rage uh, the heart stages should be handled just know the way the um the bosses are coming or the mobs is coming try to catch them with the archers uh, if the boss is sitting far away and there is a timer o over his head try to catch him with archer if you can't use mages for because you have to prepare for huge rush from the enemy so yeah i guess this will be for this short video i hope it was helpful for you if you do hit one like subscribe to the channel and see you in the next